Let's go over here. Legend Anthology. So I don't know. Like uh, some events, they'll you know ban certain cards. So yeah, Legend Anthology Academy held. Okay. So let's just try putting. Uh, what deck should I try? I guess I'll try the Blackwing deck. See if that's legal. Um, but if not, we'll roll with. Uh, I, I, I have a few other decks here, so we'll roll with one of them. Wait, what? Oh, you have to choose a loner deck? Um, if that's the case, I'll choose this one. Uh, so like loner deck? Do you have to choose one, or can you pick your own deck? Oh, oh, I missed it. I missed it. My deck. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, apparently there are some loner decks. I don't know. Maybe we'll check out some of the loner decks like in a uh, in a future episode. Let's go with Chicken Wing Attack. Oh wow, wow. Okay, maybe we will go with the loner deck. Holy crap! Look at all the stuff that's banned. Oh, Kaiju's are banned. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, I guess this event does have its own uh, uh, list. So in that case, uh, let's see if we can bring this one dark magician ah, looks like we can for the most part just I'll have to remove some of my all oh, I have to remove Barone too huh? ah, that's unfortunate but okay I mean we, we can use most of this deck so well, let's roll with the dark magician I guess uh, edit the deck let's see hmm so what all's been here Ashes band. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, I'll look at the band list later and see why. But uh, yeah. Um, well, you can only have two magicians rod. That's an interesting limit. Uh, Kaiser. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense that they would ban some floodgates. Wow. Called by his band. Okay. Uh, solemn strike. Hmm. And you can have only one solemn judgment. Okay. This event seems to be interesting. Uh, and we'll have to take out some more floodgates. Okay. Um, hmm. So BLS is legal. Somehow. <laughs> Black Lester. I think I have another one. Soldier. Huh. Somehow the BLS link is legal. Uh, well, I guess we'll throw that in. Sure. Uh, and we're just going to do this real quick. I'm not going to really mine too much. Um... What are some interesting things I could try? Oh, well, if you got the virus combo here. Huh. Uh, oh, and we've got two of those. Okay, I'm gonna limit to two of those. That's interesting. Um, let's roll with... Um, hmm. Let's throw... Let's see if scapegoat's legal in this event. I really wonder... Scapegoat. Oh, it is. Hmm. I'll throw that in there. And do I have a Link Spider? Link Spider. Oops. Er, at the end. Er, try this again. Link Spider. Oh. Well, uh, either that or it's not legal. Let's see. Oh. Okay, yeah, I guess it's not legal or something. Or I'm spelling it wrong. Uh... Hmm. Well, actually... I guess I'll throw in another Metal Reflect Slime, yeah. Metal Reflect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is allowed at three for some reason, so we'll throw that. And I guess, uh, Egyptian. Yeah, because I, I think I have two of these. Oh, I have three. Okay. Uh, sure. We'll just have those fill the spots for now. Um, okay. And let's get in here and... Yeah, a lot of free gems to be had, so... Alright, let's do it. I guess we're rolling with Dark Magicians. You know, for now. But, uh... In between stream days, like, in between this and... Uh... Like, whenever I decide to stream this next, I'll definitely figure out, you know, 
uh, what all you can actually play in this event. Hmm. Yep, we had to take out a lot of the usual floodgates I play with Dark Magician, though, so... I don't know how good this deck's gonna do, but, uh... I don't know, it seems like a lot of, uh... Really, really, really good stuff is, uh... Uh, limited for this event, though, so... Honestly, we might do okay, I, I don't know. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, let's try again. I may have the reboot here, but if I do, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, okay. So... And it seems like I have to do that on stream for some reason. Usually when I'm playing by myself, uh, not really, but, uh... It's whatever. We'll reboot. The good part is I got my deck built, so... And I also learned to do that. Yeah, just go back to the title screen and go right back in. And usually it works just fine, so... <laughs> but you just got... Okay. Alrighty. Oh yeah, what time? I definitely want to keep an eye on the time for this stream. Okay, 12 minutes. Ah, we should be good. Okay. So let's try this again. Legend Anthology Academy. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if this works this time. Hopefully so. I mean, if it keeps failing, though, I'll just have to switch to something else. Else, Takodachi. I guess we'll try to go first. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna feel a little different playing this deck. No Barone, no Aaron. No Floodgates. Hmm. Let's see what it's all about. Uh, this hand is uh, not too bad, honestly, I must say. Oh, there might be new music too. I don't know, we'll crank it up between uh, turns here. Oh yeah, it definitely sounds like there is. That's cool. Alright, we got the hand combo. Uh, I guess I'll go with this. I wonder if Imperm's legal in this event. I mean, probably, right? Uh, let's, uh, let's see. I guess I'll take Circle. That's what I usually take. So. Okie dokie. Activate Circle. Hmm, music sounds good. Uh, nope. And I guess we'll put Tamias on top. Yeah, it definitely seems to be the best out of these three. Okay. Alright, I wonder what's meta in this event. <laughs> That's what I'm really curious about. Hmm. And of course, there always is the chance we'll run into somebody who's just using the, uh, the loner deck. But... Honestly, I have no idea what to expect. I just booted this up. I know the event was starting pretty recently here. I was just like, well, let's uh, stream for about an hour and a half. So I'm honestly very curious. Is that Armed Dragons? Wow. That's a pretty good start. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and these are some of the, like, new Armed Dragons, too, right? Yeah, this is, like, Armed Dragon Thunder, level 3. Hmm. To be quite honest, I'm not too familiar with this deck, but, uh, I know it can get into level 7 really fast, so... Eh, we'll see, though. Hmm. That seems pretty good. And there's Flash. Yeah, Arm Dragon Flash. They'll probably clear my monster first, though. So. Hmm. Wow, uh, well, that's getting negated due to right hand. Ooh. Wow, instant contact. <laughs> Dude, they're going for some kind of hero play. Uh, 
That's an interesting choice, though. You hero play in a armed dragon deck? I guess it doesn't really matter. You know, as long as you can put up the most damage as possible. That's all that matters, right? Hmm. Battle box. Okay. Not bad. And you can overlay for like a 7. If you just really want to. I would admit. I, I, I doubt they'd be locked. Oh, that sounds cool. <laughs> that part of the music, you know. The decrescendo. Hell yeah. Oh, they are gonna overlay. Diabolos? Uh, what? Uh, what Volo... Volo... Fernie? The Darkest Dragon Doom Rider. I've never seen this card. Once per turn, you can detach two materials from this card and target a face-up card, destroy it. Huh. Uh, this is a quick effect if it has a dragon, but it can't be activated in the damage step. Oh, that's cute. Well, I imagine he's going to do it right now. But, uh... I like this music, though. That much I will say. Master Duel really brings it, but like the hidden happening music. Okay, so he's using the quick effect right now. And I think that'll be it for our turn, really. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Yeah, I've never seen this card before in my life. <laughs> but, but, you know, it's pretty funny, like, uh, <laughs> what different monsters get uh, limited for the... Uh, <laughs> For the band list in these festivals, so you'd be surprised what can be meta. I don't know. Maybe Arm Dragon is the meta. I have no idea though. We just started. Hm. Okie dokie. Yeah, I went ahead and crashed there because it's just like, yeah, it's pretty sure he was gonna. <laughs> He's gonna finish things next turn. Uh oh. Okay. Oh wow, you get medals even if you even if you lose. I actually prefer it when the events do that. That's kind of nice. <clears throat> okay, and we got some kind of daily. Oh, the spell card one. Nice. I guess I will try to do uh, some of these dailies because it's about to turn one one o'clock uh, Central Time here, so. Special Summon a Monster. Don't know if we'll have time to do that. We will try to do the other one, though. Yeah, because it's like 12.30 right now, so. Alright, so yeah, that was a pretty good deck. Armed Dragons. Let's see what else is uh, people are running up in here. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Maybe we'll run Dragon Capture Jar. I doubt they banned that. <laughs> <laughs> Ra. Rosh. Rosh. Seven. That yeah, may be a reference to an anime. I don't know. Next duel. Hmm. This hand could be better. Could be worse, though. Could be better, though. We'll just go with... One face down. Let's see if they can OTK us. And that's the turn. Oh, let's check the extra deck, too. I don't know how many cards the, uh, the loner decks will have in the extra deck, but uh, I think that's usually a telltale sign of the loner decks. If there's only like 10 or 5 cards in the extra, probably a loner. Next. Hmm. That seems pretty good. Hero Mask. Hmm. Well, heroes can OTK pretty easily, so... Uh, oh yeah. He got off Shadow Mist. Okay, if he searches Stratos, we'll just scoop. Because, uh... Well, Ferris too, yeah. Yeah, a lot of hero decks can, uh... Can OTK pretty easily, so... Oh! 
There's the... Okay. Well, show me that Stratos, and I will show you the surrender button, my friend. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. There's one thing as heroes can do. It's Fuse and uh, OTK. What in the world was that? Is that Blaze Man? Oh, say it ain't so. Oh, maybe, maybe Stratos got hit for the swim, though. I don't know. Oh, no, it was Gravito. Huh. I've never seen that card before in my life. And target one of your banished hero monsters. Add it to your hand. Contribute this card and target two vision heroes. Oh, okay. Seems kind of good if you're running pure vision heroes, I guess. Connector. Neil Space Connector. Yeah, a lot of hero decks can OTK with this card, too. It, it, it's basically the, the Stratos of the Neo Space archetype. Aqua Dolphin. Ah. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, <laughs> I don't have a card in my hand you can discard, my friend. Whoops. You bell. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. You've intrigued me. Rashage, the seven. <laughs> You've intrigued me, my friend. Hmm. If we could have somehow gotten deck devastation, also, that would have been pretty good this game. Hmm. Extra hero, inferno divisor. Interesting. Well, and he kind of went all in. Um, I don't see anything here that floats, so Raigeki's going to do us some good here. The problem is we really don't have a follow-up. Well, maybe we do. Uh, let's go with Raigeki. Response. Nice. Okie dokie, I activate Magician's right hand. And we'll do some Illusion of Chaos here. It's probably the best card we have in the deck. Uh, let's add Magician Souls. And we'll send away Dark Magician. Because we're going to mill it anyway. So, activate Magician Souls. Let's uh, yep, do this. Oh, he scooped. <laughs> he knew. He knew. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, usually hero decks can OTK me, like, pretty easily. I don't know. Uh, two possibilities. A, that guy got a really, really bad starting hand. Uh, possibility B, they hit heroes so hard they can't OTK consistently anymore. Which, I mean, that would be surprising. That would be really really surprising but I'll check stuff out you know between this stream and the next one but uh, yeah <laughs> boy he scooped fast when he saw that illusion of chaos though and the magician souls okay so okay on to the next duel I guess all right hmm I mean, like, I could take a quick look here, see what's limited and what's not, but honestly, for me, it's a lot funner not knowing, so we'll do the next one. Hmm, you! We're dueling you. Okay. Alright, if they do go first, I'm gonna check my Twitch and... Oh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna tweet out the fact that I'm lying, but... Ah, all right, all right. I'll go first. All right. This man. Hmm, not bad, really. Ten and the extra is this? No, no, no. There's no way this is a loner deck. Look at those sleeves, man. <laughs> all right. You know, with uh, normally I don't play Dark Magic Attack or Thousand Knives in my deck, but uh, hmm. Maybe I should play 
maybe I should play uh, one of those in my deck. You know, especially since we have the extra space with all the floodgates freed up. That's a quick change I could make. Um, yeah, I could just add dark magic attack. I probably wouldn't add Thousand Knives. It's, it's, Thousand Knives is such a brick, but, uh, well, really both of them are in a, in a way, but yeah, I could add those two cards. Oh, this duel's over. GG, my friend. Uh, we'll just play this just to get the, uh, special summon on the daily. Nice duster, though, you. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, cause see, like, if I had, a uh, if I had Dark Magic Attack in this deck, I could add it right now off of uh, off of the Eternal Soul since it got uh, dusted. Um, and sometimes that can't help with the advantage. Oh, hmm. they're running Dark Magicians. Okay. Hmm. So Secrets of Dark Magic is still. Honestly, I should uh, I should stick around for this game just to see. See all what all is legal. They may have some interesting texts that I'm just not aware of. But yeah, I really should. Okay, we'll stick around here. We'll see. We'll see what's meta. <laughs> oh, that's it. Well, they may have a dark magician at hand. So, I mean, do I even want to set flex line? Not really, no. But, I mean, I guess I will. I don't have much else to do this turn, so. But if they have Eternal Soul, they'll probably banish it right now. No. Okay, well that just tells me you don't have a Dark Magician. Yet. So. Um, which is good for us, I guess. Hmm. So we've seen Arm Dragon... Ross Disciple. Interesting. We've seen Arm Dragon. We've seen uh, uh, Dark Magician. And uh, I would say the other one was more like uh, Neo Spatians. It wasn't really a true hero deck. It was more Neo Spatians. So, pretty interesting. Uh, hmm. You can't have special monsters except by Ra's Disciple. Okay, let me reread this effect. You can't use Dark Magic Circle, the best card on your side of the field at the moment. I mean, yeah, that's, that's basically what that says. I mean, I guess it's free extra damage, but uh, I don't know. I don't know about the decision, you. All right, let's see if he's got MST or something. Metal Reflex Slime, right here. Response. We may have avoided a lot of extra damage right there, if nothing else. And like, I don't even want to ride Geki to these guys, because, uh... <laughs> yeah, essentially he's helping us. He can't play Circle right now. So, yeah. Uh, this guy might be sitting on Mirror Force, though. Magician's Rod. Hmm. That may help us. Let's play... Let's play this first. Let's play Egyptian God Slime. Very good. Oh, I think my game's lagging a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, it kind of is. But it's all good. There we go. Okay, no response there. Go for Magician's Rod. Um, hmm. Well, like I said, usually I take. Oh, I do have Dark Magic Attack in the stick. Okay, good to know. Um, let's take. <laughs> I mean, Circle is just the pick. What can I say? Okay. Hmm. Something funny we could do here is, uh, in fact, something I think I will do. Activate Circle. Mm -hmm. This does mention Dark Magician, right? It does. That's funny. Uh, let's take Rod, then this, then this. 
Okay. We can special summon this by ditching circle, right? Yeah. Normally I'd never make this play, but uh, BLS seems really tempting on this board. Response? No response? Okie dokie. Alright, it's time, boys and girls. BLS with a little protection here. And this may be a foolish move, but you know what? Let's do it. Soul Crossing? Oh. That's a nice play, my friend. I'm surprised he didn't use that as soon as he saw I saw I had three monsters, though. Hmm. Good move. For the Wing Dragon of Raw, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's do this. I activate Raijiki. <laughs> Response? Okay. <laughs> That's why I felt comfortable doing that play because, uh, yeah. <laughs> we did have Raigeki in the bank there. Alright. <laughs> so he paid all of his life points and we destroyed Raw. Yeah, Soul Crossing is really good, though. Yeah. That is the true Sun God. Okay. So he gets Millennium Revelation. I think I can get him to Monster Reborn. The problem is his life points are so low. So. But being able to search Monster Reborn is good. That's it? Bro, really? Hmm. Well, let's see if I was right. Let's see if this is a mirror force. We're about to find out. Mm hmm. Alright, Magician's Rod. And we'll activate the effects, I guess. Uh huh. Oh, the scoop! He scooped! I guess uh, he didn't have mirror force after all there. The scoop! You! What happened? What happened to you? <laughs> nice. Okay, then, well. So far, so good. Another 500 medals? We'll take it. And we get 100 gems. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, so we've seen, like, what was that? Dark Magician Egyptian God Card Turbo? Arm Dragon? And uh, Neo Space... Uh, hero, sort of. Interesting, interesting. Alrighty. Uh, let's just, uh... Wow, we got a thousand gems already. I only started on, like, 500. Let's just keep dueling, I guess. Uh... Oh, so the Synchro Festival opens on the 18th. Okay. And, uh, what's today, by the way? Let me check. Let me check the date. Oh, today's the 15th, so Synchro Festival opens in like three days. I imagine you can take Black Wings or whatever you want there. Sword Soul will probably be really big there, just like it was in the last Synchro event, but, you know, I could be wrong. Maybe Goaty. Maybe Goaty will be the goat. Uh, some of those Melfi decks run a Hoppier Squadron too, so, yeah, who knows, really. Who knows? Interesting. We got a one-turn BLS here. Hmm. We would need to survive the turn, though. <laughs> For some reason, we keep hard-drawing Rageki, which... Hey, I ain't complaining about that. That's, that basically won us the last duel. Uh, we'll set three and pass. Okay. Sorry, I was just rereading Fires of Doom today there. Make sure I know how it works. As a matter of fact, I should have kept the uh, Red Magician in my hand. Having read that. Yeah, because uh, I don't think I actually put Link Spider in the deck. Hmm. <laughs> if all else fails, though, uh, we can hard tribute for Threshold Borg. 
<laughs> Bion! Okay. That's a hero monster I'm used to seeing. Okay. Liquid Soldier still legal. Okay. So wait, maybe all heroes are legal, and that guy was just running a different version? Yeah, it's possible. It's certainly possible. Polymerization. Activate polymerization. Hmm. If we see enough hero, uh, enough uh, heroes slash fusion decks, I may actually add non-fusion area <laughs> in between this stream and the next one, though. <laughs> Destiny hero dangerous. Wait, 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 wait. He didn't go into DPE? Maybe they banned it for the event. I don't know. Hmm. Or maybe there's some unknown combo with Dangerous I've never seen. I have a feeling they banned, like, DPE, though. And, like, some other some other key hero pieces. Because we're not seeing Stratos. We're not seeing the usual lines, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I just got a feeling. I got a feeling they banned DPE for this event. Too strong. Oh, but Plasma's still legal. Ooh, ooh, that sounds frightening, honestly. Skill Drain on legs? Because you, you know they probably banned Skill Drain for this event. They banned it for most. But, uh, oh, there's Stratos. Dude. Okay, that other guy just... He wasn't running into good heroes. I see. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Stratos is the best hero. By far. It can search all the heroes. Not to mention it's spell and trap removal on legs, which sometimes does matter. But I think he normal summoned Vion to start here. Yeah, didn't he? I think he did. I think he did. I'm pretty sure he did. By the way, does this card float? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. That's the main thing I gotta pay attention to for the Raigeki, is like, does stuff float? Yes or no? Hmm. He's going into some Link combos. He could climb into Decimator if he wants. Uh, but yeah, Cross Crusader doesn't float either. Didn't it? A hero combo. Aside from Destiny Hero Dangerous, that is. I'm used to seeing. This should be Decimator. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, this is standard fare here. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Built-in piercing. Yeah. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well, to be fair, he already did use polymerization and stuff. Uh, what's quick effect? Oh, he already used it. Okay. Well, I shouldn't have to worry, then. Okay. So we can avoid extra damage. Or I can, uh, just use this in the end phase. Hope we draw a monster next turn? Honestly, that sounds funnier to me. We'll take the hit. But for sure, we want to get rid of Dread Decimator no matter what next turn. So it does do piercing. I'm going to leave ourselves with uh, two zero zero tokens, so. In phase. Okie dokie. Activate Fires of Doomsday. Alright. This will give us two Doomsday tokens. One right there. And one right here. There you go. Magic Karibo. Hmm. That honestly does help. Um. Hmm. Hmm. The only issue I'm running into here is that this is a quick effect for each Destiny Hero monster in your graveyard. Hmm. And how many do you have? 
One, two, just two. Hmm. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna metal reflex line. I'm actually gonna save Raigeki here at the end of the day. Because uh, here, well, I'm gonna save it for now. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into uh, the slime. Yeah, right here. I'm gonna try to bait him to use this effect, so. Hmm, extra hero. Wait, is he gonna use it right now? If he does, that honestly does me a favor. Okay. Yeah, because ultimately I want BLS out here, but, uh, you know. Hmm. But yeah, I definitely want to bait him to use this effect here. So... Hmm. Yeah, we'll do this. Oh, he let it go through. Wow. Okay. Well, in that case... Hmm, yeah, this does give piercing. Which is a problem. But, uh... Hmm. I should probably ride Geki Bat, to be honest. My life points are really low, so. Hmm. I really just wanted to bait him to use the pivot deck, though. Alrighty. And. You know what? Why not? We've got the level 10 for BLS, so. Let's do it. I mean, <laughs> I doubt I'll survive to our turn, but. That's probably the best play we can do, so. There we go. Yep. Ah, that's the soldier. Soldier of oh. There we go. Alrighty. I am my turn. By the way, I'm not sure why this card's in the deck. Threshold board? I might want to get rid of that card. I'll wait till, like... The dailies are over, though. Yeah. I'll wait till after the school, because it is 1252, so. Yeah, I'll get rid of it after this for sure. Because I, I don't even think I have any cyber monsters in. Well, I, I might have Dotscaper. <laughs> or I might have had to take it out because of the event. I don't know. Raigeki. Nice. Yeah, he had one too. Yeah. Very nice. Wait, that's it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, bro. Wow. Okay. Guess we got lucky there. Uh, ooh. That's a pretty good draw right about now. Hmm. Alright. Illusion of Chaos. And we will add Magician Souls. Top deck. Threshold board, because we don't really need that card right now. Alright, activate Magician Souls. And we will special summon a Dark Magician. See a Dark Magician. And yes, I will special summon. Yep. Magician. Yeah. Alright. Let's see what you've got. Blackluster Soldier, attack is Stratos. Oh, sweet. Now I can use its attack boost effect. Nice. Yep, gains 1500. I'm not even worried about that face down. The main thing I was worried about is, I mean, hero decks can really easily surpass uh, uh, 3000 attacks, so. That's what I was worried about. Now, we're looking good, man. I don't know, he may have... For all I know, this guy's running Soul Crossing too. Oh, that, no, that's it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet then. Five hundred medals, we'll take it. Okay. Uh, can you check the opponent players deck? I just kind of want to see... Match history... Uh, oh, you can. Okay. Yeah, let's see what kind of deck he... The hero deck he was running. 
Perfect Veiler. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This one looks a little more standard. Hero Lives. Couple Stratos. Couple uh, Bion. Shadow Mist. Uh, oh, oh. We avoided the Lava Golem. We got lucky. Uh, but yeah, this one looks a little more uh, standard, shall we say? Uh, let's see if DPE is limited. Access code? Yeah. Uh, now, this one I'm usually used to seeing. Sunrise, Trinity, Absolute Zero. I do not see, however, the DPE or the Anaconda. Uh, yeah, Verte Anaconda. So, maybe they limit ban those from the event? I don't know. Or, or just, you know, some people aren't lucky enough to pull those cards. Which, I mean, same here. I, I'm not... I haven't had the luck to pull those either, so. But we'll look at some of the other hero decks we run into, and if they don't have DPE either, then uh, well, it's, we basically know. We know by process of elimination. They banned uh, Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer for the event. Uh, yeah, let's, oh, well, before I keep going, let me take out that one card I was thinking of. Uh, yeah, this card. Threshold Boar. Yeah, I probably should take this out. Okay. An access code is somehow illegal for this event. That's interesting. Um, let me actually check something here. Now that we've hit uh, 1 o'clock, let me, let me see what Link Monsters are allowed here. Um... A lot of these I just don't have, but uh, I definitely want to see if Link Spider is allowed. Let's see, where is Link Spider? Um, I'm pretty sure that's his name too. Hmm. Yeah, I tried searching for it earlier though, and nada, nada, nada. Um, yeah, see, there's access code right there. Um, hmm. Well, I actually do have some Hero Link monsters myself. Interesting. Um, hmm. Right, and there's both BLS. Um, uh, hmm. Oh yeah, this is legal too. I wonder if I could run my agent deck in the event. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Uh, well, if nothing else... Huh. Yeah, for whatever reason, I don't see Link Spider on here. <laughs> That's a weird hit though. You know, it's just like... Access code? We're fine at one. Uh, Link Spider? No. Link Spider. Yeah, no. Hmm. That is odd, for sure. Let me just search Spider. Hmm. Yeah, usually it should be here. I don't know. Maybe they actually did ban it, though, for the event. I have no idea. Um, one card I will add here, uh, let's search some, I don't really have, uh, there are some level 7 exceeds that are pretty good, now I don't know if they're allowed for this event, but I do have level 7s on board pretty handily, pretty regularly, so, let's see some of the, I mean, I got two Draco sack, nothing else I could add another Draco sack. And take out uh, get one of the slimes. That sounds good, honestly. Um, if nothing else, that itself is a good change. Um, what's this one? Hmm. Yeah, I don't really have the odd eyes cards in the stick. <laughs> I could add a uh, Flare Metal Dragon, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Hmm. Each time your opponent activates a card or effect, inflict 500. Hmm. 
That honestly does sound at least somewhat interesting. Maybe it'll come up, especially if we've got our opponents like life points really low. Um, yeah, that might come up. So let's do that. Pick out a big guy. Uh, the other card I may want to put in here, which for some reason I don't have in here. Secrets of Dark Magic. Oh. Oh, right, right, right. Secrets of Dark... Yeah, this. Uh... Da -da -da -da. Yeah, I probably do want at least one of those in here. So, there we go. How many monsters are we looking at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 and 54? Honestly, that's good. By the way, I think I have another one of this. Black Fang Magician? Not the best card, but in this event, it might be good enough. Because uh, it can... It can revive a Dark Magician, too. Oh, no, I do I have only one. Um, i trying to think what else. Because it's been a while since I've messed with this deck. Mm, normally, I don't run these at two, either. But, yeah, it may be good enough. Um, hmm. There also is one card that goes with this deck. Let me... Yeah, with Skilled Dark Magician. That can honestly help, help us out. Uh, let me go over here. It's in a different deck. Um, I think it's right... Yeah, it's the Spell Counter. <laughs> spell Counter Booster. Let's see. Let me look at some of the cards in here. Oh yeah, I have two Tamias as well. I think I have only one in the deck we got right now. Dark Ruler No More, I should see if that's legal. Um, but the card I'm thinking of is this. Yeah, Mythical Beast something. Okay. Mythical. So let's see. Let's go here. Click this. Let's click this. Yeah. So... Yeah. Mythical. The coal. Okay. Yeah, this card. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Also, I remember this card being pretty good. Yeah, each time an opponent's monster effects activated, put a spell counter on this card. Yeah, with six or more spell counters, you can send this card to the graveyard and add any spell card from your deck to your hand. But that honestly might help us quite a bit. Uh, depending on the deck matchup we run into. Looks like I do have two Tamias in here, though. Um, hmm, and I have the Dark Magic Attack. Hmm. Got the Virus cards. Okay, we'll roll with this for now. Wait, why is Limit Reverse in here? Uh, let me see if I see a target for Limit Reverse. <laughs> I can revive Magician Souls, which is kind of funny, honestly, because then you can use its effect. Hmm. Now, what's really funny is I think I usually have this in here because uh, usually I can use Ash Blossom quite a lot. And Ash, a lot of people forget Ash Blossom's a tuner. So, <laughs> so you can revive it with this. And uh, yeah, there are better revival cards, but then you can, uh, yeah, you can Synchro into Barone. Pretty hilarious. Um... Okay, yes, yeah, so we'll take that out. Anything else I should take out? Uh, navigation is... Uh, it's, man. It's a tough call. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes, like... Eh, you know what? We're going to take out Navigation just because... Because sometimes that card can be really, really, really bricky. Uh, I think I have another Salvation, by the way. I may want to consider that, you know, since some of the other cards I usually use are gone. Salvation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got like five of those. Okay. 
And, uh... Don't I have Foolish Burial? Foolish Burial. I probably should be playing this by main deck. Yeah, that's legal. Okay. Uh... That's looking a little better. Obviously, we want to see Dark Magician as much as possible. Um... Okay. Well, we've hit 1 o'clock now, so I'm going to tweet out the fact that I'm live here. And then we'll go back and we'll do a few, few duels until about 1.30. Call it, call it a day. Because so, after that, i got to check on some stuff, stuff to stuffs for YouTube. Yeah, got a few episodes uploading. Uh, right now we got Pokemon Platinum on my YouTube channel and uh, GX School Academy. I'm working on those in the background, so... Yeah. You gotta check on those. Try to do some editing. I hope to have those out uh, around like six or seven a day. Uh, let's go here. There we go. And I'll send the tweet out, and then we'll get back to the rules. Uh, so far, so good, though. Like, uh, the one duel we lost was against, uh, Armed Dragons. When they just blitz the field, so... Yeah? I don't know. Maybe I chose a good deck for this event. I don't know. Maybe we've just been getting lucky. Um, as far as this weekend goes, um, I do have plans to record some more, uh, I guess I can talk about this while my Twitter kind of pulls up. Uh, yeah, I do plan to record some more Pokemon, Let's Play Pokemon, the trading card game. Uh, surprisingly, uh, if you notice my YouTube channel, like right now we're up to seven medals. And, uh... I was doing some thinking last night. I was just like, man, we're actually really, 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 really close to the finale for that game. Because all you need is the uh, eight Master Medals. And uh, so the only person we need to take on is uh, the Fire Club. So, and then after that, it's the, uh, it, it's basically the equivalent of the Elite Four of that game. It's the, uh, you know, you head to the, the dome, the Pokemon Dome. And yeah, you duel the Grand Masters. So yeah, we're coming up really close to the end of a uh, Pokemon trading card game. So, uh, <laughs> and it's kind of weird. Like in my return to YouTube, I really didn't expect, I didn't really just sit down and say, you know what? Okay. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I want to finish up Pokemon the trading card game. That's, that's my number one priority. I mean, not really, not at all. <laughs> One thing I am glad we finished is uh, Dawn of Destiny, but uh, no, I got, I don't know, man. We've just kind of been going through it, and uh, yeah, I think what made it seem, or what makes it seem a lot faster than than it really is, is because uh, yeah, I looked back at some of my other episodes in the uh, in the playlist, and we had dueled like all the Grass Club members like several times. Uh, well, at least Brittany and, uh, and Heather. And so, yeah, so ultimately all we needed to do was defeat, uh, Kristen. And then, uh, you know, Nikki showed up at the club. So, yeah, that, yeah, the Grass Club didn't go, because, like, most episodes in, uh, Pokemon Trading Card Game, they'll at least go, you know, two episodes. You know, one for all of the, uh, one for all of the gym basically gym trainers you know because usually the club leader won't duel you until uh until you you know you beat all three of the the you know it's basically just like a traditional pokemon gym until you clear out the gym trainers the gym leader won't battle you same, same thing in that game you know so uh but yeah, that really accelerated us on medals because all we needed to do was beat um, just uh, two people. So I was able to do it all in one episode. So 
Uh, yeah. Uh, so I, I may take a break, like, as far as videos go. Uh, I may, like, you know, not really take a break from other stuff, but, like, focus more on Pokemon trading card game. You know, just to clear that out, just to say, hey, boom. We got the finale. It's done. It's recorded. So, which, of course, you know, when you do a finale, frees you up to do other stuff. So, uh, which is good. So, <laughs> but but then again, there's there's no there's absolutely no guarantees uh, when it comes to anything, uh, including making it past the grandmasters in the first place. In fact, the very first one, Courtney. Uh, there's an argument that she's the strongest one because, uh, <laughs> dude, the legendary card, the GB card, Multures in that game is really 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 broken i mean it almost guarantees that she never runs dry on energy so she seems to draw pretty uh pretty often too because you know she has pokemon trader in her deck which which all the all of the grandmasters do but you know it's just i mean out of all of the legendary cards i've always considered multra as the most important in the game I guess some people technically say a Dragonite because of Healing Wind, but eh, I mean, it's, it's not like, you know, Rod uses that with uh, Damage Swap or something. If he used it with Damage Swap, I'd be like, ah, oh, okay. But, you know, he just uses it sometimes, like, and it's really, really weird because Healing Wind, most of the time you're seeing the active Pokemon. <laughs> unless, unless Rod is retreating, like, you know, 12 times in that duel to, you know, move around the damage, I mean, he's not going to help him that much, you know. So. In fact, I can make an argument that uh, Dragonair, Dragonair in that game, you know, base set Pokemon TCG Dragonair with Hyper Beam, I can make an argument that that card is way scarier than his, uh, his GB Dragonite, you know, mainly because it removes an energy, so... Um, well, anyway, I went on a long tangent there. I didn't expect, uh, I didn't expect my computer to drag this long, but yeah, that's something I was thinking about. Pokemon trading card game. Let's just push to the finale, man. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I think that's the only let's play I'm doing right now. That's close to any kind of finale point. Um, although we are making good progress in Night Nightmare Troubadour as well. You get a Nightmare Troubadour. So. But, yeah. That's what I was thinking about. Yep. Wait, this is a long interlude. Let me grab some water. Sorry guys, sorry, it's just, you know. I gotta do what I gotta do. And we're almost there. Um. Hmm. Yeah, as far as the other Let's Plays, like the other Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays I'm doing right now, it doesn't seem like we're close in any of them, but, uh, I'm definitely glad I started, uh, <laughs> I started Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu Forbidden Memories, man. That's been a lot of fun. And, like, even when I'm just, uh, uh, you know, grinding for cards in that one, man, like, I, I always have fun recording that one. For It's just, it's just such a nostalgic game for me, man. I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're making pretty good progress on that one. Um, I would say, as far as finales go, the next closest game... Hmm, the next closest game to a finale... 
uh, believe it or not, is probably actually um, Duels of the Roses, which, I mean, don't get me wrong, that's not like really, really, really close to a finale, but I mean, we're already up to Lieutenant Colonel, and the thing about the uh, ranking challenge in that one is, is like once we hit, uh, once we hit Secretary of Defense, it's just basically boom, 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 boom. We're basically clear to finish the entire game. So that that's the thing about that one. I know that's the main point of the ranking challenge is like, you know, we can't duel someone unless they have the same rank. But it's just like, you know, once you reach the maximum rank, you're basically clear to finish the game. So, yep. Pretty interesting. Yeah. So. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Most of the other Let's Plays, you know, right now, we've just, we, we, we've barely started, you know, like, uh, Pokemon Platinum. And in that one, I'm like, I'm not in any hurry at all, man. <laughs> I'm just chilling, seeing what's in the randomizer, taking my time, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, as far as, uh, as far as Final Fantasy VIII, you know, I'm doing some of that on stream. In fact, I may stream some today. Uh, but yeah, we just barely started that one and we're looking for some, uh, if I do stream today, we're going to be looking for how many El Noyo cards do we need? Like, let's see, cause usually I get 20 for Squall. I think you need 80, 80 El Noyo cards. You might need 90. Cause I, I know Quistus's final weapon needs like. She needs like four energy crystals, which is 40 El Noyo cards. So, like most most LPs, or like most playthroughs of my uh, Final Fantasy VIII, I don't even bother with getting her final weapon just because it's such a chore. But um, ultimately, I think I will in this one because you know, yeah, you know, like that's what I that's what I've been doing on stream as far as Final Fantasy VIII. You know. The last stream was for card mod, basically, so um, I didn't even really talk much in it. All I did was, you know, played it, played a little triple trad, you know, got enough uh, AP for card mod, and that was it, so. Um, but yeah. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. But uh, as far as, wait, what is happening here? Uh oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there's no response. I was getting ready to say, bro. I was like, what in the world is happening with Master Duel here? But uh, well, sorry about that. Oh, did we have to reboot twice? Twice in stream? I think we did. Well, if we did, I'm sorry, but you know, that one's not my fault, man. Neither is the first one. So. Uh, yeah, but, uh, 80 Illinois cards, that's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And honestly, that's a lot of talking, man. <laughs> so, so like, uh, I'm really glad I thought of that because I definitely wanted Final Fantasy VIII to come back, but I was just like, man. And then at some point I was even thinking, I was just like, you know what? F it, man. We'll just go, we'll just go ham. Just go all story mode. We won't draw any magic. We won't do any triple triad. We'll just we'll just go ham, ham taro, and not worry about you know playing it how I usually do. Which is you know I don't know. Maybe that'd be more entertaining. Maybe not. I don't know. To me, I just think it's funnier to uh, abuse the junction system in that game and uh, just go full overpowered from the start. I'll, I think that's that's a lot more funny. And well, it's a lot more fun for me. So and like ultimately, I'm the one that's playing the game. So might as well make it as fun for me as possible. You know, do what I usually do. So, but uh, yeah, I usually don't bother. Uh, what I say? Yeah, four energy crystals, forty Elden oil cards, just for one character. You know what I mean? Like that's. You know, I mean, I mean, 20 is reasonable. Don't get me wrong. 20 is sometimes hard to do with just Squall because, like, for some reason, sometimes they, they just won't play it. They just won't play 
like if you're after them for a rare card like Quistis or like let's say they have one of the player cards, you know, they they just won't play it. They'll refuse to play it. Like, uh, in fact, in some of the upcoming episodes, you'll see what I'm talking about. Because just like we know who has what rare card, but they just won't play it, you know. So, I mean, the same happens with uh, with uh, the Elnoil cards too. Like. Sometimes the, uh, you know, you can you can play triple triad against the person most likely to play it, and they just won't play it. You know, it's just, it's it's all a matter of luck. So, um, as far as how fast Final Fantasy VIII goes, it's really not up to me. It's up to RNG. So, <laughs> and that's, I don't know. That's ultimately why I decided to do like all the grinding here here on Twitch on stream just because it's like, whoa boy, <laughs> I'd probably go I'd probably go mad trying to commentate you know 80 episodes or 80 Illinois cards worth of episodes which if I did my usual 30 minute episodes bro who knows how many of those it would take you know so I figured you know what now I doubt I I'll do it all like you know do it on Twitch to get all 80 in one day, I doubt I'd, I'll do that, but, you know. Yeah. That would be pretty crazy, honestly, to do it all in one stream. But, you know, 10's reasonable. 10's reasonable. Yeah. In fact, 10 is just a good enough pace for me to be like, you know what? We'll do 10 per stream and then 8 streams. You know. That's reasonable. All right, well, I guess we'll see if we can get this go. Okay, I was gonna say, I guess we'll see if we can get this going. If we can't, we'll end this stream right here. All right. All right, we are going first, so, and I still know if Imperm is legal, but uh, <laughs> it's funny. W one duel when I was playing with this Dark Magician deck, I actually played uh, left hand first and then uh, a hand it was a hand just like this and I played Magician's Rod. They threw down Imperm and it was negated right <laughs> Bro, that was the funniest thing ever, man. Uh but you know mag having Magician's Rod in this event or Stratos I Oh oh there it is. There <laughs> That's not gonna work, buddy. I have Magician's left hand. Yeah the first trap you play is negated. Yeah, nice imperm, bro. <laughs> I'll be taking my dark magical circle, thank you. Yeah, that's just what I was talking about. Well, I guess that answers that question. Infinite impermanence is legal for the event. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I was just talking about that. Uh, yeah, let's confirm. Ooh, and we can take a card from the deck to the hand. Yeah, let's... Uh... Oh, we can take Dark Magician or Salvation. Um... Based on my hand, I should probably take Magician Salvation here. <laughs> Bro, that was funny. Uh, okay, the order of these doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter because we're going to Magic Karibo. Um, let's just play Salvation here. Bro, that was funny. <laughs> nice Imperm, bro. And uh, yeah, we'll set Eternal Soul right here. That's just what, that was funny. I was just talking about that. <laughs> All right, we'll end the turn. Let me go. That was great. That was great. But yeah, it's nice not having to worry about uh, Ash Blossom because <clears throat> most people will Ash Blossom when I play uh, Magician's Rod. So, giggity, you know. It's nice to know that card is not allowed in this event. Though. Okay, what deck could this guy be playing? He's got Imperm, so. Probably a pretty good deck. Ooh, ooh, man, that's that's a strong card right there. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the edge and chain combos go hard, bro. Yep. Duster. My goodness, that's good right now. Huh. I could play Eternal Soul and grab Dark Magic Attack. But, uh, 
Uh, should I? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Go ahead, amigo. That's a good duster, though. Yep, this guy started with some really good cards. Infinite and Permanence, Duster, and the uh, Pride for Patchwork. So. Not bad, amigo. Not bad at all. Hmm. I wonder if Super Polymerization is legal for this event. I mean, I wouldn't think so. That's a really powerful card, but, uh, hey, what do I know? Hmm. One thing I do know about Predator Plants is uh, their main ability is, like with this, to use the uh, Predator Counter to place counters on your stuff and then fuse your stuff with their stuff. Um... Yeah. That's the one thing I know about the deck. So, it's like, their removal is basically, I put a Predator Plant counter on your stuff, and now I'm going to fuse with it. Very dangerous, honestly. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, I have no idea how the deck works. Other than it's pretty consistent with uh, this card. Uh, Predator Plant, yeah. Orphus Scorpio. Oh, it's limited to two. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that at all. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, so this one tributes our monster and then lets him special summon whatever he wants from the deck. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That does make, uh... How many fusion decks have we seen this festival? We've seen Dark Magician. That's a fusion deck. We've seen... Neo Spatian. That's a fusion deck. This is a fusion deck. Uh... We saw regular heroes. That's a fusion deck. That does make like four or five fusion decks we've seen this festival though. So, uh... I might throw in non-fusion area. I I'm really, really thinking about it. <laughs> it's just like, you know what? You took away all the other floodgates. Let's throw in that one. Because that does seem like it would be pretty good. If you play that against a hero player, bro, I can't tell you how many of them are scooped once I play that card. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Whoa. Try to plant tri Veritum. My goodness. Hmm. Um. Oh, that's probably prompted me for Magic Rebo. Hmm. Well, I could have Dark Magician take the hit here. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Yo, Magic Rebo. There we go. And we'll special summon the Dark Magician. Mainly because I think I can take uh, Magic Rebo back once he destroys it. So, why not? Yeah. Okay, Magic Karibo. Return to my hand, buddy. Yeah, why not? Because we do have Soul Servant, so... Not a bad play at all. One face down. Well, we don't have to worry about Cult by the Grave, so... Let's see. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting card we've got here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Let's just play Soul Servant. 
By the way, can this card be banished? I wonder. It looks like it can be. Uh, let's go with... Circle. Because why not? Oh, I took the one from the graveyard. Didn't mean to do that, but uh, it's all good. We'll just draw a card. Because we've got Dark Magician in the graveyard, so... Why not? During your opponent's turn, if you activate a spell or trap or effect... Good to know. We'll activate Circle. Nice three cards on the top. Okay, sure, I'll take a card. Let's take Dark Magician. Because why not? Uh, let's stack Eye of Tamias. Yeah, that sounds good. Mm, Key Doki. And let's set this card way over here. Alright, let's see you play Duster again, buddy. I end my turn. All right, let's see what we can do here. We've got 7,000, so we might be able to hang on. I don't know, maybe this guy's back in MST, too. Which, honestly, that doesn't sound too bad myself. Maybe I should pack MST this festival. I definitely will if we see dark magi more Dark Magician players like us. I'll definitely pack more Spell Trap removal than I usually do, so. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, it tributed itself. I was gonna say, uh... I don't have any monsters with a predator counter, so... Oh, but he's going back into this. Yeah, that does make sense. That makes a lot of sense, honestly. Good move. Good move. Man, this music sounds like it's like straight out of a uh, GX, but it sounds like it's out of the sub version, which honestly I like. During the end phase, if this was, you can discard a plant, add a, so it's a Stratos for Predator plants basically, but you can add any level four lower plant. Man, that seems really good. Holy smokes. Okay, well he did activate polymerization here. I gotta pay attention. I wonder if Guardian Chimera is legal for this event. If it is, we're in trouble. There's that again. Hmm. So with that effect, he can add a card. But wait, he's used both effects. Hmm. Okay good to know. Hmm. What is your pendulum effect? Well, this card's in your pendulum zone. If you fusion summon a dark monster, you can use... Oh, that's not good. Monsters in your pendulum zone as monsters for the material. Hmm. Wow. That's probably not good for me. Hmm, so I use two to go into Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon. My god. This is a beast of a monster, it looks like. Is this a royal? Ooh, nice. Shiny. Once per turn, you can target a face-up monster on the field. Change that targets to zero? Oh my. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna go for one shot because he knows I have the magic carry bow. Smart, smart. Yeah, that's pretty smart, bro. Hmm. My goodness. Mm. 
Hmm. Oh, and he's got the Predator Prime Fusion face down. Which we knew he had that. I mean, you know. Whoa. Summoning animation. Nice. So this is... Starving Venom Preta Power Fusion. Hmm. Hmm. Well, ultimately, I think it makes the most sense for us to do this. I know it's going to get negated, but, you know. Well, it should get negated. Yeah, okay, okay. But he has to get rid of this card, so, to do it. Which, I don't mind. But at least he did attack in the right order. That's pretty smart. And, uh, that's game, because our top deck is Tamias, so. Nice deck, though. Yeah, Predator Plant Fusion. Turbo, basically. Yep, that's it from us. Pretty cool deck, though. But yeah, that Duster was, uh... That really probably ultimately decided the duel. We get our medals, and we're moving on. So the next one is at 2,000. Okay, and wow, for that you get 150. Uh, this is probably the one we're gonna shoot for over the next few days. The 200, they're at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest of this, I don't really know if we're gonna bother trying to get, but yeah, getting up to the 200. That sounds, you know, manageable. And, like, I don't even know if I'll stream it all, to be honest. But, uh, if I have time, I will. If I don't, I will not. You know, that's just the way it goes. Okay, speaking of time. Okay. Yeah, it's got, like, it's, like, 137 right now, so... I can probably go to 2, and that'll be it, so... All right, let's see what we're up against now. We haven't seen any loner decks so far. Whoa, 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 whoa. Three cards in the extra deck? Oh my. Uh, this may be a loner deck, I don't know. Or it could just be a, hmm. This card seems really good in this matchup if I can get it to go off. Hmm. We're gonna set one. And uh, what we're going to do here, we're going to play this card. Alright. I have a feeling this may be a burn deck. <laughs> we haven't run into one yet, but uh, I just got a feeling. Mm -hmm. Let's see that magic cylinders. Oh. Okay. What's got me suspicious is the the low extra deck count. That's got me really, really suspicious. But uh, we'll see. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I don't know. We'll take a look at their deck if they don't play anything. You know. Uh-huh. That's it, huh? Alright, in phase. We'll play Metal Reflex Slime here. Very good. Magician's right hand. Hmm. Now I could go all in here. Hmm. As a matter of fact, I think I will. Normally I wouldn't, but uh the fact is, I definitely want to make them play whatever cards they got back there. 
Ah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, that's about what I was expecting. Still set one. Mm-hmm. Well, in the turn. See, yeah, seeing the, like, threatening roar, that really makes me think. I mean, I mean, who knows? This may be, like, final countdown, Exodia, who knows? But seeing threatening roar really makes me think it's a burn deck. For sure, now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The Lava Golem, yeah. Yep. Sounds about right. Alrighty. That could help us out, honestly. Yeah. Hmm, do I have any level 8s in this deck? I don't think I do. No. Okay. Alright, we'll set one. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Let's do it, Tamias. I will send the Dark Magic attack. Nice. Very, very good. Alright. Well, Magic Cylinder wins them the game right here. Hmm. Interesting. I'm surprised we got through as far as damage there. But we will take a thousand burns, so all they need is like one secret barrel. They don't need much, so. Monster Reborn. <laughs> On Slime? I mean, if you knock out Lava Golem, that's fine with me, bro. Honestly. That saves me some headache about wondering, you know, if I'm going to get burned out or not. So, oh, defense mode, though. Okay. <laughs> you think that's enough to stop me? <laughs> you almost had me. Now, nah, honestly, it might be. I don't know. All right, all he needs is a thousand burn damage, and that's game. We'll activate Raijiki. A response? I ain't got one. Hmm. All right. Let's see that magic cylinder, buddy. Hmm. Its attack is greater than or equal to your life points, special summon it. Then, as an attack. Wait, what? Change the attack target to this card. What if I play this card? What then? Me not I mean, he can still play some other card, but still. <laughs> nice burn deck goes through. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, that solemn judgment was clutch, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see what they had in that deck, though. I, I'm I am very curious. Let's see. Uh, match history. <laughs> nice burn deck goes through. I may be stealing it, honestly. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Three magic cylinder. Three mirror force. Three storming mirror force. Three drowning mirror force. Infinite imperm. Oh, it's limited to one in this festival. That's good to know. Huge revolution's over. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, looks like you don't have anything stronger uh, stronger than a counter trap in here. So, oh, <laughs> oh man, that's nice. Change of heart. Eh, interesting, interesting. Yep, looks like I had just the right card there. <laughs> Not ready for the counter trap, eh? 
Nice. <laughs> that deck is does look pretty fun though. Alright. Do do do. Nice. 200 gems. So we activated enough spells and traps, it looks like, to clear that out. Uh, let's see. So all we've got left is eight normal or special summons, which that's relatively easy to do. And then 30 duels total can get you, how much gems is this? 200 altogether? Yeah. 200 extra gems. Sounds pretty good. Okay. Uh, let me check what time it is real quick. Okay, uh, we'll do one more duel, and then that'll be it. So, Legend Anthology. But uh, one Infirm, that is good to know. That's very good to know. <laughs> so that's funny, against that one uh, Predaplant uh, player or whatever, they drew the one of <laughs> Vivo Sor Ace. Hmm, interesting. All right, we'll go first. I, I suppose. Bebo Sword. Is that a new Pokemon? I've never heard of. Uh, maybe. <laughs> this hand could be a lot better. Hmm. I gotta think here. Well, ultimately, our best play is actually. Hmm. Believe it or not, it's to set this and hope and pray. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because the Tamias fusions, I'm pretty sure I need a Dark Magician on board. Let's see. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Dark Magician or Dark Magician girl. Oh wait. Hmm. During your main stage confusion your hand or field oh that's my bad I guess I could have went into uh, and I still could if we make it past next turn into this card because we have dark magician girl in hand that's my bad hmm. okay whoa what's this guy running lost world hmm Ooh, he's running the new doodle bee stuff uh oh yeah, I don't know how much they hit dinos in this event, but this, uh... They still got the ultimate Tyranno and stuff. This could be an OTK, and in fact, even if they don't, it still could be, so... Uh, we'll see. They didn't hit Michelaniosaurus, so... Not looking good... For now. Hmm... And they destroyed Baby Sarasaurus and deck. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I don't think they hit dinos at all, bro. Hmm. One thing I will say, though, is I'm glad we're seeing, like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of variety. Um. Oof. Double evolution feel. My goodness. Yeah, Vivasaur is popping off right now. And Giant Rex. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Probably going to be Masquerina here. Oh no, Pentastag. Wait, Pentastag? Oh, I guess I do have the zero, zero token here. That honestly does make sense. Yeah. Fair play. I mean, they'll probably link it off, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time Thief, Redoer. Interesting. There's the double evolution deal.
Yep. There's the boy. Ultimate Conductor Tyreno. Legal. Mm-hmm. And how. Yeah. This is an OTK, man. <laughs> That's funny. Hint the stack with the piercing, and it actually matters, too. So, that's pretty funny. Wait, what? Oh, Giant Rex can attack. Did they mess up? No, I don't think they did, but... I mean, that was still a really good turn for them. Hmm. What can I do here? Or did you grab Dotskeeper? <laughs> nice. All monsters except dinos lose points. Hmm. And that is somewhat problematic. Okay, boys and girls, let's do this. Steel Dark Magician. Let's uh, let's stack what soul servant here. Mm -hmm. We'll grab a uh, field spell. Mm -hmm. Circle. Hopefully this doesn't get negated because if it does, it's basically game over. Uh, yep. Sure. We will take another soul servant. Honestly, wouldn't be bad, but we kind of need this card. All right, order doesn't really matter. Hmm. Salvation. Said eternal soul, what in the world? Hmm. Smart. Uh, gonna destroy my skill dark magician. Very good. Uh, dump, dump Dark Magician Girl to the graveyard, though. Hmm. Do I even need salvation at this point? Not really, no. <clears throat> he might. Hmm. Very good. And I think that's our turn there. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, the issue is we never got to a Dark Magician here. Because he uh, he interrupted us with Doodle Beast. Yeah, that's the big issue right here. But yeah, that's game. We tried, though. We did have the three spell counters, though, for Skill Dark Magician, though, which is pretty funny. And he doesn't need to do much. All he needs to do is just attack. Yeah, with uh, Ultimate Conductor Tyrano, that's game. And 
honestly, there wasn't really too much I could have done differently there. Very good. Yeah, we'll take a look at that deck, though. Yeah, full power dinos in this event. Honestly, that may be the best call. <clears throat> I don't know. But either way, that was pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Bebosaur. Yeah, this is basically full power dinos, but without a. Uh... <laughs> yeah, full power dinos, but without, like. I don't know, maybe without Max C and without Ash, but I mean, that's still pretty darn good. I guess this is limited to one. I mean, but still, the deck is pretty good overall. Pretty consistent with Fossil Dig. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, and like, none of, nothing else besides Ultimate got hit, so yeah, you can still run Arcosaur at three if you want. Baby Source at three. Uh, their field spill, yeah, is at three. Yeah, lost this world. So it doesn't look like Miscellaneous Source got hit either or Over Raptor. So not too bad. Something to consider for the event. Honestly, that looks pretty good. So, and of course, uh, Pankratops. <laughs> Pankratops is unlimited. Like, if it was me, I'd probably be running, you know, two Pranker Tops, one of this. But, uh, yeah. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, guys. Well, that's, I think, going to do it for this stream. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Because, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, because it just hit like uh, 158 here, so. Alright, I'm going to collect my rewards and I'll be on my way. But yeah, thank you all for joining me. Uh, if you decide to watch the VOD later here. And for everyone else on YouTube, hey. I uh, appreciate you watching. You guys have a good night. Bye-bye. And I'll see you all next time. Alright.